chance outdoors I feel like you're coming in as maybe kind of a underdog this year I don't see people uh, will see you as a title threat uh, how do you feel coming in yeah I'm definitely underdog I like it um, I, I feel really good right now I mean it's what everyone's saying you know everyone's feeling really good but I mean, we'll, we'll see Saturday but I mean I've I'm finally 100% healthy I feel like and I feel like I can uh, go out there and like really prove like what I can do but and like I said, we'll see you Saturday. But no, like I've been, I've been doing a lot of testing with the team and uh, figuring some stuff out with my body. So I feel like we're starting to kind of come around and figure some things out and just trying to be patient and just small steps at a time. But no, we're we're figuring it out. I'm excited. I'm just excited to go race my dirt bike and try to just be there every weekend. How much outdoor testing were you able to get coming off of Supercross, or did you start during the Supercross season? Yeah, I started during the Supercross season. Um, obviously, I wasn't anywhere near points anywhere so I was kind of just switched my focus to um, switch my focus to outdoors and just did a bunch of testing did a we had that three-week break after Indy and did a bunch of testing then and then raced a couple rounds or so and then did some more testing came out here and rode here for a couple weeks and just to you know double check everything testing back east versus testing over here is a little bit different but no it bike felt great and yeah just was really excited after after testing and I just I felt really good my motives were good so yeah gave me a little bit of confidence going to Salt Lake rode really good at Salt Lake and yeah now we're now we're here went back to Florida chilled a little bit with the friends and the fam and got to play with my dog a little bit and yeah a little a little reset button for the weekend and all summer so no, we're, we're feeling good how do you think it's been training with like the Lawrence brother and just kind of having them help you grow as a rider how do you think that's going to relay on the track during the races? Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a big advantage, I feel like. Um, we're, yeah, I mean, we, we train together, we ride together, and um, everything, and our train's a little bit different, but, you know, we're on the track at the same time, and trying to learn as much as I can from those guys, like, it's it's awesome. They really take me in, like, they're like family to me, I'm like family to them, so they're willing to do whatever for me, which is super cool, but, yeah, like Hunter, I always kind of lean on Hunter and Jet for the knowledge part of it, and just trying to trying to just learn as much as I can all the time like it's you know, just try to be a sponge and soak it all up but no it's been really good like this try to keep everything a little bit of a secret you know but no it's 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 hard not to be out there and and learn something every day but it's been good it's been really fun and yeah it's just riding dirt bikes with my buddies at the end of the day so it's, it's cool Awesome, man. Thank you. Right. Round one, Pro Motocross. Talk us through kind of the development that you've been a part of coming into the opening round of Pro Motocross. Well, this whole project we've been working on for a couple of years, and uh, obviously this is our, our first year out with Supercross. We, we got through the whole Supercross season, and this will be our first outdoor. Um, I've been heavily involved in, in the development of the bike. The last, uh, last month or so, we've been, been hitting the outdoors pretty hard and trying to get the settings right, and we'll kind of see where we're at this weekend. And, and go back to the drawing board from there. What are kind of your expectations for Joey, uh, quote unquote, coming off the off the couch and, and coming to line up? Well, I think Joey, he's prepared. He's had had plenty of time to get ready, uh, not racing Supercross. So I think he's he's coming in prepared, healthy. Feel like the bike's in a in a good spot and uh, kind of. I don't know. I don't really know where he's going to be this weekend. I think he's in the same boat. I think uh, he's ready to see where he's at and go from there. Jaleet coming off a very strong Supercross season, really building momentum the whole way. Uh, where do you kind of have him in the lineup? I think Jaleet, he's a great starter. I think he's going to be up front. And uh, seeing him the last few weeks riding outdoors, he looks like he's riding really well. So curious to see how Jaleet rides. And uh, he had a great Supercross season, and hopefully to build on that. We're back. Uh, yeah. Tell us uh, tell us what the vibes are coming in. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think vibes are high. Just um, had a lot of time to uh, to work on myself. and. A lot of time to uh, get some laps in, so uh, that shouldn't be an excuse. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back. It's uh, as a competitor, I never want to be sitting on the couch watching. You know, I'd love to be racing, but uh, circumstances are what they are, and uh, this is this was what I felt like was the best option. And uh, yeah, so we come in, uh, hopefully, guns a blazing. 
How does your fitness feel, I guess, being off the bike so long? Everybody talks about how hard it is to regain that race pace. Uh, how do you feel coming in? I mean, honestly, I feel good. I know everyone says that, but uh, I've worked really hard in this uh, downtime for five months, and uh, I feel like I'm in a good place um, physically. Uh, I'm strong. Um, Cardio-wise, like I mean, you know, I'm stronger on a on a bicycle now than I've ever been. So I've gotten a lot of, of base cardio in, and um, hopefully that translates to a, a dirt bike. Uh, we'll find out Saturday. But I mean, yeah, like I said, mentally I'm in a really good place. Um, I'm happy with my motorcycle, and uh, yeah, just gotta gotta execute. Talk about I guess the new bike being different than probably anything you've ever ever rode. How how was that transition hopping on uh, just a completely brand new motorcycle? Yeah, it was a little tough at first. Um, I was actually kind of doing a little double duty. Um, I, I went and rode it the first time about a year, a little over a year ago maybe, and uh, I was still doing WSX, so I was bouncing between bikes 250, 450. It was there was a lot of a lot of stuff going on, but uh, you know, like the first thing I noticed jumping on it was the frame. It, it feels really good, like. You know, I don't have a lot of complaints yet. Obviously, go racing if things uh, if we're struggling a little bit. You know, we tend to find be a little bit more nitpicky, but uh, so far, like I've been really happy. The frame is is very compliant. I feel like it's uh, soft, but not like a not a flexy soft. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's a new motorcycle, so there was a lot of uh, twists and turns along the way and a lot of uh, trial and error. But I feel like as a team, you know, they've mainly done a great job. You know, I'm obviously behind the scenes and. I help out when I can, but um, they've done a good job getting this motorcycle pointed in the right direction. Uh, all right, we're here with the Cowboy. Ready. Welcome back. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I feel really, really good. Um, kind of been riding for about a month now. Uh, I got about maybe five or six motos under my belt, so uh, more than these guys can say that, that actually finished the Supercross season. So, uh, no, I feel good. Bike's feeling good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to roll. What uh, are some of your expectations coming into the season since you're coming off an injury, but you do have maybe more outdoor prep than some of the others? Uh, yeah, I mean, big picture is uh, win championship. Um, and then, you know, small goals is just podium every single race. Uh, I would really, really love to make a push for that championship. And, and uh, I really need to prove to myself that, um, you know, I can – finish and, and get up there and uh yeah I, I had a good chance last year but I, I had a little mishap before red bud that uh ultimately made me kind of step back a little bit and i took a couple you know off the podium finishes so uh this year i want to you know make that push to to podium every round to be there every round and and hopefully uh get my elusive first outdoor win juju just got done with press day riding uh you've kind of scoped out the track what do we think it looks like you guys are flowing yeah 100 percent uh track changes they made this year are really good uh, a lot of a lot of big floaters and some fun jumps so uh, i think track's gonna shape up good tomorrow on saturday kind of talk about your prep coming into this outdoor season what were you able to do what were you not able to do and how do you feel coming in uh, i feel pretty good um i took some time during uh supercross season rode some outdoors a little bit um, and then right after Salt Lake, got, got right into testing and, and full outdoor training. So um, happy, happy with where we're at um, and ready to go. What are your expectations coming into this year? Where do you kind of see yourself here at the end of the championship? I'd like to be up front, but uh, for me, it's just to keep learning. Uh, do what I did in Supercross, make sure we log every lap this season and uh, have some fun. Jordan Smith, absolutely ripping in press day. <laughs> How do you feel out there, man? Yeah, I feel good, man. It's good to be back at the, at the motocross. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I feel good, bike feels good, and uh, yeah, just having fun. What kind of prep were you able to do going in just based on your, your championship in Supercross? Yeah, um, pretty good, probably the best, probably the most prepared I've been going into outdoors in my career, so um, had very minimal injuries throughout the season, uh, felt pretty good all year, had the one crash in Seattle that, you know, just uh, kind of bruised up some ribs and stuff, but uh, overall, been pretty good uh, with the wet run in West Coast this year. I had that whole East Coast to kind of ride a little bit of outdoors. We didn't do a ton, but we, we got a little bit of base built in there. So, uh, yeah, I feel good. Assuming your goals and expectations are championships, what's what's going to get that for you? Yeah, I mean, for realistically for me, I've never been on the podium in outdoors before uh, other than I've podium some motos, but never overall. So, um, yeah, we're just going to start out, just kind of see where we're stacking up here, uh, just trying to uh, – the, goal, the number, number one goal for me, like in my head, is just to try and get on the overall podium. Uh, I want to do that. So uh, see how quickly we can achieve that goal and go from there. Levi Kitchen.
coming off of a unfortunate end to the Supercross season, how do you kind of shift your mindset to focus on outdoors? Um, honestly, come in with the same approach as Supercross. Although now I just feel like I have more confidence because I was able to win some there. So, yeah, I learned a lot from the Supercross season. Um, obviously, it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but um, still very grateful the way it went. And, um, yeah, just try to carry that momentum of uh, my starts, my good starts, and just executing is what I need to bring into motocross. I've heard from a few guys the track changes are very well liked here at Pala. What's what's your opinion of them? Uh, I think the layout's good for sure. Obviously, we just got done with press day, and the prep is uh, subpar, some might say. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a scramble, you know, right now as far as, like, how I feel, like, with everything just because the track is a little bit different. Um, but I'm sure by, you know, come Saturday, like, it's going to be it's gonna be legit. It'll be deep and rough. And, uh yeah, that's why I was a little out of place because, like, I like it super rutted and rough, um, but it'll turn out that way, I'm sure. What's it going to take to kind of get that first overall win for you in, in outdoors? Just, uh, I mean, I could put one together last year, one moto, so really just execute two good starts, I would say. Um, I think my closest I got was Unadilla going, like, 1-4 or something, but um, and I had two pretty good starts. Uh, so if I just do that enough times, I feel like I'll, I'll luck into one. You know, you can you can win overalls going 3-3 three, three or 3-2. Three, so um, obviously I would like to just go 1-1, one, one, though. How's the fitness feel? I know obviously a rib injury and everything like that and not a whole lot of outdoor testing, but how do you feel physically coming in? I feel actually really good. Um, you know, I think you kind of just run off your boot camp from, from November area or whatever, and uh, that went really well. And... Luckily, with the ribs and everything, I still was active like the day after doing cycles and stuff. So I haven't lost anything. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm in really, really good shape.